Hi, I would like to talk to you about your intestinal fortitude, particularly your intestinal health. There are two reasons why this topic is important to me. Most importantly is my son's health. He has been diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. Fortunately for us, it was early on in his life and we were able to make action soon. But most people associate cystic fibrosis with respiratory issues. For me, it's important that we address the nutrient issues first because if he does not have the nutrients he needs, which some people who have cystic fibrosis struggle with nutrient absorption, then he will not be successful in life. For that reason, intestinal fortitude and intestinal health is important. Additionally, I have many friends who suffer from weight management and weight loss. And I think that there is a key to weight management and loss through managing our intestinal health. So to address this, I would like to discuss some key factors that will help with weight management, weight loss, and nutrient absorption. One of those is a key nutrient called butyrate. Butyrate is not a nutrient that you can absorb through the consumption of food. It is produced in, within the intestine. So butyrate, with the assistance of probiotics or the microbiome within your gut, fed by prebiotics can help to build your intestinal wall, which can act as a screen for your gut. And why is this important? It's important because we need to make sure that the nutrients passing through our gut are the nutrients we want to sustain ourselves. And we don't want unnecessary nutrients passing through. So by fortifying our intestinal wall, we can essentially block the nutrients that we don't want. Now, I say nutrients and everybody thinks, oh, nutrients are so wonderful. But nutrients do doesn't necessarily mean good or good in excess uh, compounds. They could be things like cholesterol, uh, carbohydrates, um, calories, and we need to make sure that we're limiting certain nutrients and ensuring that we're getting the maximum amount of good nutrients like vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin C, all those need to pass through our uh, digestive system freely while the less favorable ones, although cholesterol can and carbohydrates can be beneficial, we just don't need them in excess amounts. So it's important that we ensure that our intestinal wall is strong so that we're limiting the amount of the nutrients we don't need in excess aren't passing through. So how do we increase the amount of positive or prebiotics into our diet? So we need to pick foods that will pass through our digestive system into our intestines, i.e. apples, almonds, soy, oats, barley, things that will 
stay the test of time in our digestive system. Um, we need to increase the amount of those items. And if you have a gluten allergy, a significant gluten allergy like celiac disease, I have a cousin who has it. I completely understand there are options out there like chickpeas and maize that you can ingest that won't cause harm to your system but will still promote the uh, growth of butyrite. So we need to, to balance the butyrite or the probiotic and prebiotic so we're increasing the production of short-chain amino acids like uh, butyrite for our digestive system.